Hey guys, welcome back. It's Bernardo from the BTN HD and top 15 Windows 10 new features. And let's get started. Uh, number one is uh, the start menu. This is really obvious. One of the things that we have been wanting to get for the longest. Uh, we thought we was gonna get it in Windows 8.1, but it looks like they gave it to us in Windows 10. Number two is you're able to pin stuff to the start menu uh, not really something that I like a lot, but it is there as a feature. You are able to resize the tiles to small, medium, or large, depending on which application you pin to the start menu. But for me, I rather just have it uh, cleaned because it looks an, it looks like an actual start menu. Number three, if you go into the properties and you go into navigation, it gives you an option to disable. Um, charm but depending on what hardware you have Windows 10 installed uh, the charm bar will not appear for me it's not going to appear because this machine is not touch friendly but if you're using a laptop that does have the touch abilities the charm bar will appear top number four you have task views which is actually brought within uh, the Mac world in a Unix world, which is virtual desktop. It allows you to create uh, additional desktops so you could uh, have multiple uh, views of different things. Top number five, which I kind of call this Expose. And the reason why I call it Expose is because like, like in, in the Mac, when you press, I believe, I think it was F3 or F4, uh, it gives you a nice little view of what's running in the background, what applications you have on the dock on the taskbar for, for Windows. Top number six, a nice clean new search feature which actually allows you to search online. Now this uh, feature is actually powered by Bing. So Microsoft gotta use Bing, right? I wonder if you're able to change this uh, search to go to Google. Hmm, I gotta find out. Once I find out, I will post that up for you guys. Top number seven, the shutdown button is actually located within the start menu it's normally located at the bottom for what we've seen in windows 7 but uh this is a huge a huge improvement they brought it right at the very top hey uh, i can't complain about it but still uh you are able to right click on the start menu and get this uh shutdown and sign out feature just like uh within windows 8 and 8.1 Number eight, uh, Windows Snap feature has been enhanced. Uh, if you have a an actual um, app, if you snap it to the side, it actually gives you a view of the other things that are running, which is pretty interesting. So I'm pretty excited about that with the new snapping feature. Number nine, if you right click on to the start menu and you go to command prompt, now within command prompt, it allows you to actually uh, copy stuff and do the command of control V to paste. So that's pretty awesome. Top number 10, if you right click into the taskbar and go to properties and go into navigation, you're able to replace the command prompt with Windows PowerShell. So if you are a Windows PowerShell person, you can change that command prompt to Windows PowerShell. And number 11, the start screen is gone. Well, it's not really gone. Uh, but you are able to bring it back if you go inside properties, uh, you go to start menu, and if you click on this or disable it and press apply, it's going to want you to sign out and sign back in. And when you hit this, the start button on the keyboard, it's going to bring you back into that Metro theme. But that's really up to you if you guys want that. Number 12, OneDrive integration all the way. It looks like Microsoft is really going full force with the migration of uh, OneDrive. Uh, OneDrive is automatically going to upload camera documents, everything up to the cloud. So that's pretty awesome, especially if you guys are running Office 365. It will go hand in hand with no problem. Top number 13, the start menu. You can actually personalize your start menu if you right click anywhere. Uh, if you right click, you will go to personalize and you're able to change the color of the start menu. Ooh, I don't know. That's just one of those customization things. I kind of like the gray one, so I'm gonna stick with gray. Top number 14, believe it or not, I don't know if this is just a customization thing, but it looks like the desktop icon or the desktop shortcut is 
uh, replaced or changed a little bit. Mm, I don't know if I like that or not, but hey, it's cool. And top number 15, the last new or change feature that I've noticed so far is within the modern apps. Uh, again, this feature was uh, seen within Windows 8.1 Update 1. Uh, apps has they have their own window with their own taskbar which you're able to close uh, it, it won't do a full screen even though they give you an option to do full screen but hey that's pretty cool and that's it guys those are the top 15 Windows 10 new features that I've noticed and changes if you guys have seen anything else leave your comments right below don't forget about hitting those like buttons and uh, catch you guys on the next one peace out